it's pretty obvious this is becoming a humanitarian uh, crisis. Very obviously, it's also a security crisis. With your background in arms control and also at NATO, is this potentially also a nuclear crisis? Do you believe that to be true? Well, Putin has made it so by rattling the nuclear saber, unfortunately. Uh, he started this actually back in 2014 when uh, Russia first invaded. They invaded and seized Crimea. And at that time, Putin was engaging in some nuclear saber rattling. This time, it has gotten more serious because he has declared that he wants to increase the readiness. What I understand has actually happened is they've upped the number of people in their nuclear command posts, but not actually changed the operational status of their nuclear missiles, which I suppose is a good thing. The other good thing is, of course, that uh, the United States and the NATO allies have been responding in a very uh, kind of, I won't say relaxed way, but in a very temperate way. And avoiding escalation is their absolute goal. Avoiding escalation is the absolute goal, which is why I would assume you are not in favor of a no-fly zone over Ukraine? I am not for the reason that NATO's strategic objective at this moment must be to prevent a general war in Europe, World War III, which people have already been tossing around. I think it's absolutely vital that uh, that uh, the NATO allies not be drawn into this conflict directly, but that we continue to do everything we can to pour support into Ukraine, both military support and also humanitarian support, which is vital, as you noted at the outset. Rose, tactically, is it clear now that Moscow has given up on a ground invasion and it's now switched to long-range artillery and airstrikes with innumerable human cost? Well, they've moved all of their, as your correspondent said, about 100% of their military equipment that they had staged. I suppose they have more to pour at it if they wanted to, but they cannot neglect defence in other parts of of uh, the gigantic Russian landmass. So I think that uh, they probably have gone as far as they can go with a land invasion. But they are turning to tactics that they used to, to really level Grozny, the capital of Chechnya back in the 90s, and that they used to level uh, parts of Syria and particularly the city of Aleppo. So these are now time-tested tactics on the part of the Russians to pour missile and rocket fire down and, and uh, really an, an inordinate amount of destruction that is uh, that is affecting civilians.